name is Erica and I'm here to review one of my new favorite fantasy series of all time. Uh, that series is called The Faithful and the Fallen by John Gwynn. It is a four-part series. Uh, book one is, sorry about that, I dropped the book. Book one is Malice, then book two is Valor, book three is Ruin. It will ruin you. And book four is Wrath. Before we get into the series itself, let's talk a little bit about the author John Gwynn. I have a little biography from another book of his that I'm reading. And um, he seems like a really cool guy. He actually is a really cool guy. If you were to like comment on any of his posts on Instagram or message him, he's really uh, interactive with his readers. This little paragraph says that John Gwynn studied and lectured at Brighton University. He's been in a rock and roll band. Uh, he tried traveled the United States of America, he lived in Canada for some time, and he's married with four children and lives in Eastburn, Eastbourne, I don't know how to say that. Uh, he runs a small family business rejuvenating vintage furniture. And if I can find this image of his author photo, I'll, you know, share it. It just, it's incredible. Anyway, I'm here to review the Faithful and the Fallen book series. Malice was first published uh, 2012, and the series concluded with Wrath, which was published, I think, in 2016. So it came out for about four years years and has tons of loyal readers. Um, I just discovered it last year and I had been reading it really slowly um, because I've just been taking my time with it because it's so good. It's one. Of, it's a series that you can easily binge but at the same time I recommend taking your time with it because it'll just help you fall in love with the characters more and to be honest I just didn't want to say goodbye to this world so I just read it very slowly. That being said this series takes place in a world called the Banished Lands and it's a world that's filled with humans, giants, wolves, other stuff, uh, demons and angels, and we follow a story where we have a chosen one and he's a human and he is being thrown in the middle of this said prophecy that says that the angels and the demons are going to come back to this banished land and they're going to duke it out in a sense and this main character his name's Corbin he's kind of at the center of it he's the bright star and he has to uh, stop the the bad guy he's got to stop the bad guy which is named Azroth and so that's the gist of it. It is a simple story, but I think what brings this story to life is the characters, the writing, the lessons, the metaphors. Everything that's in this series is so touching and it makes you think and it pulls at your heartstrings and it's just absolutely beautiful. Our main character, Corbin, like I said, is the chosen one trope and that has been done time and time again and I think a lot of people in a way could be tired of that, but in this book I think it's told in such a a way that you don't even care because John Gwynn is such a talented writer that he brings to life such a beautiful, strong, confused, conflicted, but just good at the core character and uh, Corbin is one of my favorite in the series. I have several favorites but we have other characters as well. Um, McQuinn is a very morally gray character but ah uh, he's my absolute favorite of the series. There's Corbin's sister and she is absolutely delightful. There are even animal companions in this series. We have um, a wolf uh, that's named Storm. It's Corbin's not pet but kind of like companion animal, I don't know. I would say that their Storm sees Corbin as like a part of his pack in a way and so yeah there's just so many characters in this and I think that this series wouldn't be what it is without the characters and the characters that you will never forget about because they really just stay with you. They are so heartwarming and even the characters that you shouldn't love, the the bad guys like Nathair and some of the other giants and Azeroth, you're so intrigued by them. They're, they're written in such a way that you have to question why the characters are doing what they're doing and even though Nathair is the bad guy of the story, we'll feel for this character because they're, they're a character in which at their heart you know that they're just doing what they think is well even though later on like some stuff becomes questionable but they're just people that have fallen down 
down the wrong path that have been misguided and that have kind of lost their way and it's sad but at the same time they make for such compelling characters to read about and I think that one thing that shines in this book so much is everything that has to do with the combat and the war and just the way that John Gwynn writes these scenes. I don't think I've ever been so entranced and consumed by a battle scene or by a sword fight or about anything like that. Um, when you read his scenes it feels like you're there watching in a movie and everything is just in your face. It feels very Joe Abercrombie in a way. If you've ever read the First Law series it's written really well like that uh, but even more um, cinematic in a way. It's just all so good. Uh, this is one of those stories that I think I will definitely be returning to. I didn't want to say goodbye to this series so I did continue on with the uh, next series that I get. It's technically set in the same world but it's a hundred years later that follows different characters so this is what I'm currently reading and it's so good. Um, I will be reviewing that soon but this series as a whole I would recommend to any fantasy reader even if you are tired of like a chosen one. If you want something different and unique well that's not necessarily what you're gonna get in this but you are gonna get a beautifully crafted well-written story that has the best characters, incredible writing, uh, it's gonna pull at your heart, it's gonna make you happy and sad and angry and it'll make you cry and you'll just... It, I think a book series is just incredible and it can make you feel all of those emotions when it can really get at your heart. I think it does a good job well done. When it's saying, you know, hey, it can be the darkest of times but there's still a light at the tunnel, I think a series does a good job when it can do that. This series is just so, so good. Did I convince you to read it yet? Because I really think that you should. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. This is The Faithful and the Fallen by John Gwynn. If you want to read about a good, good versus evil story, if you want to read about some uh, angels and demons and giants and humans and wolves and about a really cool land and about an epic journey and really great characters and magic and just, oh, there's a funny crow. There's birds in this too that are really good characters. They're so funny. I just really, really like this book series. So this is The Faithful and the Fallen by John Gwynn. I highly recommend it. It's so good. You will love it if you haven't read it. And uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to add to this review, so here's my cat. This is Tarzan. Say hi. No? Do you want to go? We're gonna go. You have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.